Cal State students will shell out more for their education following a vote to increase tuition by 5%. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez spoke with some students, and they weren't very happy about it. He's live in Long Beach with their reaction. Dave. No, not happy at all, Pat. It's a very strong wind blowing right now outside, and it coincided with the whirlwind of activity and controversy inside where the uh, trustees meet. They had a very uh, loud, boisterous meeting today. It was a split vote, and in the end, the trustees did something for Cal State students. Hasn't happened in six years. You're paying more. The reaction from the students inside the meeting when the trustees voted 11 to 8 to increase tuition. And the reaction outside? So unless Sacramento comes up with extra money, beginning in September, tuition on all Cal State campuses will increase by $270 a year. They have to take it away from those who can barely even afford anything to eat. This is going to set a precedent so that they can raise it in, again in the future. It's the first tuition increase in the Cal State system in six years. But students and faculty members all agree it is the student fees that have gone up every year that people don't know about. Fees for lab work, parking, etc. There have been campus-based fees that have gone up inside that time. Those fees are not covered by state grants or Pell grants. The $270 increase will make the yearly tuition $5,742 a year. Fees average about $1,300 a year. And 60% of undergrads or 225,000 students in the system are on some kind of aid or scholarship. And I know how dejecting and demoralizing this may feel at the moment, but it really shouldn't. So Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, a trustee who voted no on the tuition hike, gave the students a pep talk. Stick with this. Uh, your voice is becoming more and more resonant. But in today's arguments, there was no mention of Prop 30 money and where did it go? That was Jerry Brown's initiative in November of 2012, a tax the rich to fund education to the tune of nearly $7 billion over a seven-year period. Where's the money? You're absolutely right to ask oh, where that Prop 30 money go. And the fact is that money now is uh, not, that money's going elsewhere because we took the heat off uh, the legislature. I mean, you have the governor's ear. I mean, the Governor Brown came on campuses and said, yeah. you vote for Prop 30, you'll never have a problem again here. Yeah. That's all he basically said. The first two years that Prop 30 went into effect, the Prop 30 tax, it generated a lot more money than they thought. Almost $6 billion that was supposed to go strictly for education. But as you heard, the lieutenant governor said it went another way. The students here say that they are well aware of that and that they are going to take their argument to Sacramento. Back to the studio.